Banter Podcast with Colin Jettis. What about you? I want you to get yourself and your soul together. This man will make your liver quiver. This man will make your bladder splatter. Let's all welcome the world's godfather of soul. Colin Jettis. Uh, it's Geddes, actually. Dude. Do you know what? As long as the audio's fine, I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. Figure it out. I look better blurry, like honestly. <laughs> That's my whole vibe. <laughs> when you see when I do a Tinder profile, all just like masking all over every oh face, you know. Oh Fuck! I don't even. What? Are you thinking about Tinder? Not a, not for a while yet. Like, but I t- the, anybody I know who's on it, it's such a grim life, you know. That I'm like, I don't want, I don't want to be uh, getting the push notification going it's five hundred quid a month. Is this know? all live? Are we getting all this? <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> I have that bet where I'm like, you know, if, thank God I'm married because it would be sad if I was trying to sell myself based on. Visuals. Uh, well, it wasn't good when I like I was last single when I was like twenty three, and it wasn't good then. You know what I mean? Like I didn't have a good. My whole technique was like just be your mate and grind you down over a period. Of <laughs> yeah, actually, you know? yeah. Wear them down emotionally. Yeah, grind you down. <laughs> that makes it sound a bit more sinister. Mick than Eggman, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Squeeze in that gap. Right, come on. We're having to. We're Squeeze having to. Sh- we're having to share oh. microphones. Oh, yeah. No worries. I haven't yeah. introduced this yet. They'll we'll do like Paul, John, and Paul. <laughs> uh, Welcome to the General Vander <laughs> Podcast, live from uh, the green room at Lavery's. We have every light going here and blind. <laughs> James, are you vaping in here? I am, yeah. You good monster? Shit, you what flavor are you on? I'm on a wee cherry ice. Fuck yeah. Respect. Yeah. I miss it so much, eh? Did, have you, when did you go out? I'm on the old pouches, been on them since January. Yeah. Do you feel like the... I feel like... So hold on, what are the pouches? They're the wee fucking like, nicotine a, pillow, pillow a, looking yolks. <laughs> I feel like they're more intense. It's gonna look like you're like, interviewing them now. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, talk to me about you. Oh, they roll the gums off you, like, but yeah, they're yeah, yeah. they are nice. They're so fucking good though. Yeah. I, well, we did one of your. I think I did two in your podcast. Yeah. Like I did one that was great, and then I was like, give me another, and then I wanted to kill myself off. <laughs> like the second yeah. half, I was just dying. It is pretty intense. They're very strong. So like. are they like you know the way you used to get like the Wrigley's had instead of chewing gum like the wee bit of tape. It's like a fucking bit of sellotape that you put in your tongue that would dissolve. Similar, but this this is more like a little tea bag. Yeah. And they're flavoured. These are like minty, so it it's looks like a little tea bag. I think I'm going to have to get into some form of, you know, the, the I need to be able to go outside to smoking areas and not just be standing there. <laughs> yeah, you'll need you know? you'll need some sort of vice. Yeah. But then you'll not know either because then you just stuck up your gums and then, you know, nobody's going to But maybe I'll anyway. get really into it and I'll do both at the same time. Yeah. Like, overload <laughs> myself, you know. Yeah, I seen a guy at work. He was literally like rolling a cigarette and while he was rolling it, he was smoking a vape. Just because he did. He just Sir, needed the constant nicotine. To- the man's down bad, eh? <laughs> Which I just found out the other week means horny. I thought it meant like you were depressed. <laughs> down no, bad down means, bad means that like, yeah, you've gone to extreme lengths to bust. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. I just thought it meant you're depressed. I yeah. just walk around telling people fuck that I'm down bad. I just finished day. Yellowstone <laughs> down bad, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm down bad. <laughs> <laughs> How lucky are we to have Aaron uh, on a podcast here today? He hates it. He hates podcasting. I just like, you know, I just want to come here and do a bit of work. You've man. made it made it in the big leagues with Palm Squad. Now he's like, he's like, what's the fee? He said Look, to me. You, he said, what's the fee? As you know, this is us. very important to me. You see, I have to be seen on all podcasts <laughs> at all times. So I'm glad you agreed. This you get my email where I was like, wear a jumper the exact same color as the couch place. Yeah, <laughs> that will help. Do you know the annoying thing is? I had another jumper right to put it back in and lifted this one. What was the other jumper? Talk me it through. was one that made me look like a bigger tits. So <laughs> oh, I'll, nice. I'll bring I'll get that on. Skims. Right. Skims. Stone bad. He needs to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no, I don't know what dime bad is. Because <laughs> that is the internet at the minute. Just some girl like, you know, doggy style, but you can't quite see the asshole. Yeah. It's like, man, if you've seen this, you're dime bad. <laughs> Have you seen it? You know, it's like someone's mother. It'll yeah, say. that's that's my Twitter right now. It was for ages like fights, people getting shot in the head, and now it's like lakes of porn. Yeah, like I've like every page will throw up a porn just to get like traction. Like I've I follow a page Discover Ocean. It's like pictures yeah. of fish. Yeah, and the other day they just threw up full porn. <laughs> yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? I, I follow yeah. this, It's like sharks and yeah, shit. Dude. Yeah. I was like, I want to see sharks. Not yeah. like, and talking, then there's they'll have like a f- puss. there's like a fight in America, you know, in like a Taco Bell in Florida. Yeah. And the two girls like they swing for each other, and b- all the tits come out immediately. <laughs> and then they just keep fighting with tits slopping all over the place. That's great. And you're like, my Instagram's nothing like this. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> no, this is Twitter. This my is... Instagram's just other comedians and <laughs> and wrestling merchandise. That's all I get. Uh, uh, Instagram's great. Yeah, Twitter is smut or, or fights. I, I love watching fights. I tell you what you do now, Alan, as a new single man, you get on the Twitter. 
right? Right. And it oh. is filled with tweets with porn. It oh, is. Yeah. Oh, that's what that's only people who interact with my tweets now are just bot. me like from a bot. Bot yeah. porn stars, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What Watching I don't bots. like now is uh, I'll get grouped. They make like group chats and it'll be like me and then someone I vaguely know, like a comedian in yeah. like Manchester or something, me, yeah. that guy, and then like Fanny something, like all these weird porn names. Right. If you want a short term relationship, contact yeah. me. And you're like, Man. is this real? Am I not? Am I, not, am I, am I doing that bad? Like, where I'm like, you know that, that thing? So somebody's talking about it on Reddit actually yesterday. We're like, you know the way the porn adverts, they don't try and convince you that a young, sexy woman wants to have sex with you. They convince you that there's a granny in the local area who would be willing to fuck you. <laughs> Granny's a big You're album. like, you go, well, that's more believable. And I am desperate. So yeah. I will have sex with a 78 year old woman. <laughs> Who was in the last? Cool. Who yeah. in Rathcoon is always like these bitches can't even fucking text. Little, you know what I mean? And they're like setting up fucking have yeah, sex. We have osteoporosis. <laughs> <laughs> you got them chicken wings trying to type. How about we take a I'm stars? Bust, I'm hard to the left. <laughs> yes. Mm. I'm hurting for What's a squirt. What's the oldest you would go? Well, you see, I have that difficulty because I look fucking fifteen years older than I am. So you got to add it on from there, really. You know. So. What's the oldest you have one? Oh, not really that old. No. no? Thirty-eight. 38? Yeah. That's, That's yeah. all right. That's totally the, what age you know? 29. Yeah, 38's fine. 38's fine. That's older than me, bro. Yeah. And you busted her six times, <laughs> by God. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. stop. Anyway, what's the one that can go? <laughs> I remember going with a 26 year old when I was about 18, and I didn't want to tell anybody. That is player. <laughs> That's a MILF at that age. I was like, bro, oh, MILF at it. Yeah, 26, you're like, this is a grown woman. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if it helps, she probably didn't want to tell anybody either, so it works out quite well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, yeah, the door <laughs> closed firmly behind me on the way yeah. out. Like, yeah. No, I, I have to say, only a couple of years, really. Like, you know, it's not very interesting. But what's the most you would go? Would go. It depends who it is. Do you know what I mean? Like, hell of and why not? You know what I mean? I know she's 75, but she looks well. 75? You know? Jane Fonda's yeah. fucking if 80, you, and she looks great. If you yeah. can get a, a juicy elderly woman, <laughs> not one that's gone too frail, you I, know what I mean? Not, not somebody you meet at bingo, and like, yeah. you know, she's got one of those wee roller <laughs> shopping trolleys. We've been in a few cafes, and you've been served by a couple of elders, and you're like, hey. Yeah, juicy elders. Juicy elders. <laughs> 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 You d- you're like, oh, juicy elders. Juicy elders. Yeah. That's the one McCartney would build. You know, yeah. he, like, he, like, he like builds his own websites. And <laughs> Juicyelder.com, we add for it. <laughs> like one of those competition pages. Do you, you know the camera's coming in? You know, like a crane <laughs> yeah. shot. Do you want to fuck grannies in your area? Juicyelders.com. Have you ever seen the, the it's like, it did the rounds a few years ago. It was like Stone Cold Steve Austin on his podcast advertising milfhunt.com. Yes, He's like, yeah. Oh, women with great ass. Yeah. Milfhunt.com. <laughs> like, like, why? Milfhunt sounds like you're going out to harpoon them. It sounds like well. a Japanese game show, yeah. It's not I a think porno. It's, I think it's Milf, Milf, Milf Hunter. I think it's Milfhunter.com. <laughs> but there was a guy who was like, the Milf Hunter. He, like, he, he looked a bit like mm. a can, actually. He had a wee bouquet, you know. But <laughs> yeah, this is Milf Hunter. He is <laughs> Milf Hunter. And then he would go and have sex with somebody who's 28. He's like, ah, it's a man. He only yeah, needs one know. kill a year, and he face off it all year. As, uh, one kill every five years, does man. <laughs> He's like, a blue moon. He's like a werewolf when it comes to banging. <laughs> <laughs> Once every hundred years. I don't like it. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're asexual? I think I actually might be, you know. Because it's infuriating, you know, knowing how many women are queuing up. To, yeah, you like see there's, gar- so- there's girls asking on the Lavery's page, like, it, it, tell me when Aaron McCann's on, then I'll buy a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not, yeah, I'm not really promiscuous like that, it you know. It is overrated, right? Like, it's, you, you, you think you want it, then after you're like, yeah, and then you're yeah. full of guilt. And, yeah. Pictures would be grand. You know, you're in a position now you could request. No, I'd never send a picture of my route. No, you don't send them. Don't say, no, nobody wants to see that. Yeah. That's what that's what, that's what law about the Geneva Convention. Like, that's... <laughs> you're not... <laughs> but you have so many queuing up, you could audition them now. No, no. Same no. of them juicy. Oh, that's, yeah. that's really grim. A fucking McCann's casting couch. That's yeah. horrible. Guess who? <laughs> yeah, it's in my ma's living room. <laughs> yeah, I, that's it. You're like, come out to Oma. That's where it is. You're like, I don't think this is a big movie studio. Yeah, you're, like you told me. Your yeah. casting couch is your ma's couch, and then her, she's just grilling them. <laughs> what is your father day for work? <laughs> she's sitting there with a cup of tea, shaking. The cover's still on the sofa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's squeaking about it. <laughs> I'm very nervous, Mrs. McCann. <laughs> you fucking better be. You better be nervous. What is your my, my sweet prince. <laughs> <laughs> you just lie like this on the other sofa. <laughs> I feel I like eating sandwiches you just made, just egg and onion, just fucking filling yourself up. Oh, she I, is an egg and onion woman. I love like, wee egg and onion. Like, loves it. Yeah. I love a wee mock crab. You ever get that? No, you what's put, that? You put a wee bit of tomato into the egg and onion, it turns like a pinky Ooh. color. Yeah. Mock crab. It's good shit. But uh, I never want to meet your ma, you know. Not 
no, no offense, but like, see, I've built her up so much in my mind that she can't live up to it. Uh, dude, she's you know she's what I mean. The best. I love her. She's like one of those unseen characters in a sitcom. Do you know what I mean? You're like, <laughs> it is out there. Oh, check, and you only see like yeah, or like Maris and Fraser or something. <laughs> yeah. You know, just. Yeah. They're always talked about, but you don't want to know what they look like. Yeah, you know? like the parents and cayenne chicken. I'm just picturing yeah, just you, the feet. you in an apron, you know. But she's like a she's an elusive character, your mother. Yeah, she is. You couldn't call down your house unexpected. No, you know she'd, she'd di- shit herself, she'd dive under a table. She has to get the, you know, you come down to ours like the throne crystals come on out, everything, you know. Oh. She likes to make guests feel welcome, but she needs like forty eight hours. We have fucking loads of throne crystal in our house. Yeah, I believe, because my dad used to play bowls, and he like. One load. We just Turo clean crystal. up on the crystal. <laughs> oh, true crystal. You got a DVD player one time as well. That was pretty good. Damn. Like in like 2001. That yeah, was that was prime. It was about that fucking size. I had a widescreen TV that was the fucking size of this room. You know, one of those like so deep. <laughs> oh yeah. And then 300 pieces of Blake pottery. That's that's, <laughs> how, that's the whole house. You know. For playing bowls. Is he yeah, nice with the bowls? Is he? He doesn't play anymore. He, he his team completed it, mate. We, well, like, yeah, played for Ireland and all, and Holy was like. Shit. Uh, which was very confusing for him. He was a big problem, but uh, he um, he was really his team like won the league every year, and he just found it really boring. So now he goes, he's like, I'll do another prodigy sport and way to do darts. So he plays darts now. Is that a prodigy sport? Is darts yeah. prodigy? Darts is about prodigy. Yeah. It's always played in Rangers clubs. You know, yeah, they always have a team. Darts. It's is bit, it like a bit if shite, actually weirdly? Like yeah, Jordan but Jordan but he enjoys. I do baseball. Yeah. Like it's like he enjoys it. You know, he enjoys it because it is a challenge, and it is a fucking challenge because he's really not good at it. Yeah, but, you know. Either am I. I'm fucking terrible at darts. One time we played in Manchester. I so we were pissed though. We were. We were talking about that last night. It's yeah, but three hours a game. Just yeah, we oh, played around the world, and we you could have you could have flown around the world quicker than we yeah. fucking <laughs> completed this one game. No one passes them like like a pish game of darts. Oh. oh. I keep forgetting about it, and then I keep, yes. I keep, I keep putting the the dartboard in the Amazon basket, and then like forgetting to buy it. Like I really should buy one and get it. That, just even that, like I'll be happy enough that day, just rattling yeah, out yeah, like a few like, hundred yeah. of them, bang, 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 bang. I have and to then, do the score, and I've no idea how scoring darts actually works. We just count. But it's not like <laughs> taking away from something. But what do you do? Well, do that when they're under 180. Someone made it sound complicated to me. Five hundred one. I don't know. I think it's a bit uh, ambitious to. Five hundred one, I think, would take fucking forever with people that aren't. Yeah, it'd be like not, not. Oh, he's hit the wall. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. <laughs> wall. Yeah, maybe do either one hundred one or three hundred one. You just count down from that. Okay, cool. And are you gonna do finishing on a double? What happens if I don't know? That's what, what happens tough. if you overshoot the the mark? Does do you just not count? You oh, so like the, if you have fifty and you score sixty, say you just aye. go back to fifty. Oh, you just you, you're bust. You don't get oh. anything. You have to finish. And usually in darts. Like, say you need four. You can't hit four. You have to hit double two. So, ah. do, you know, your last dart has to be a double, which is a real fucking thing, because that's around the outside, you know, so... Yeah, um, that's a bastard. Yeah. But that's where the skill comes into it. That's why it's a game. Yeah. You know? Who do you think's, like, like low-key nice at darts that's in that? Well, really I'm low-key nice at darts. Yeah. Well, I've seen you in action. I'm okay at darts. The real like, question is, who's fucking practicing, like, 12 hours a day? Because somebody Butler. is... Butler, he's yeah. there, isn't he? Yeah. He's Disneyland, man. They don't play darts at Disneyland. Yeah. Bomb darts. He's, he's got a squad of mates that also go to Disneyland. Cause he was talking about going <sighs> to, isn't it Florida? He's on it, isn't it? Yeah. He was like, oh, my mate's out there the week before me. He's away to Disneyland. I'm like, would you not go the same week? Mates. Go the same week? Why would you go? Let's both look like nonsense. Let's go separately. <laughs> yeah, separately. Yeah. Also, the guy, the guy's got like, uh, you know, he's like, lucky bastard. He's got a weekend before I get there. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. be playing catch up. Like, there'll be no one left, but no kids left by the time he gets there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but now it does sound like a beta file. Well, it's, uh, my big fear is he's going to do a big reveal and reveal that he is Goofy. Like, he's dressed as Goofy. He's murdered Goofy <laughs> so he can get closer to the kids, you know? I, do you not think, like, as a, as a regular man, you wouldn't last longer than about half an hour in Disneyland? You would need... So as, as soon as I saw the queue for yeah. fucking yeah. It's a Small World After All, I'm like, I'm away. You have to be baked off your tits, I think. Yeah, like, that would be interesting. But other than that, I would just... I did Universal. Me and Maury went to Universal oh, Studios. Oh, it's a good time. It's pretty good, like you know, because it's I all d- rides. And all, you know, you get yeah. on like a f- Indiana Jones. Yeah. Butler said that about Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> I went on the uh, Harry. Sure. Went on the Harry Potter one. <laughs> oh, why they like fucking interactive? And it's, it's, cool. it's like spitting on you. It's like tss, yeah, yeah, yeah. smells all. <laughs> oh. And then I got off, and I was like, man, I th- that it was so good. I would nearly watch Harry Potter now. That was yeah. great. It's very magical. Those like that's one of the the augmented 
roller coasters, isn't it? You're not actually on a thing. They yeah. Really, they make me feel more sick than a general, yeah, general roller Because it doesn't coaster. go anywhere, but the, the screens change, and then it throws you about the place yeah. like this. It's like, do you remember you used to have those, like, the shit version of those in Barry's? Where, like, it was a simulator, <laughs> and it would just do that a bit. Oh, yeah. And it, it would was be, a... like, Windows 95 screensaver yeah. CGI. Yeah. Like, just... Who's oh, was under for... attack, Captain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like a minibus on, like, carjacks. <laughs> yeah. It was just going, like... Oh, you're like, oh, I'm in a volcano. It's just the same. But, that, uh, you know, you were six. The graphics fucking blew your mind. Yeah, you know? and the ghost it's train a... at that age, too, was fucking terrifying. Uh, I, 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 I was afraid of the ghost train until it was one time I was on as a kid. And it, it kind of shattered all the illusions because at one point a coffin burst open and it must have broke because it was just a light bulb in it. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh no. I don't a know. light bulb. I don't know if I opened my eyes on a ghost train until I was about 29. Yeah, it's <laughs> a lot. Like, I was just the whole way around. Like, oh, well, it's not worth it. <laughs> well, one time we were in Butlins when I was like five and I did that, shut my eyes the whole way around. And we're all holiday with my mum and dad's mates and Brian, you called them. And uh, as we came out of the ghost train, my dad went, you up your eyes, and Bran jumped out and went, Whoa, and I literally shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you shit yourself? I literally ghost shit myself. Oh, my God. But, like, not at the ghost train, at the the big loyalist man afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, went, you mean you fell the trousers, like? Yeah, I was a child. Like, I needed a poo anyway, you know, but I, went, I just went, you know, I just went. I needed a turd anyway. Yeah. I, uh... I went to Butlins with like a football team when I was a kid. Right. You know, like one of these residential stay over play a tournament thing. And the only thing I remember from it was and this is before we went to the ghost train, which I went in and closed my eyes the whole time. But someone <laughs> took a shite in a black condom. <laughs> and the sure. shit the shit was I've told this before in the podcast, the shit was in the like a black condom, which is a bold move anyway, you know, like I don't have that kind of aim. A, yeah, and the you know, it was obviously firm enough where it's enough to get That's what I mean, like oh, yeah. I, once again, you you grow up and you, you start to ask questions. You know, you're like, <laughs> did they hold it open and shite into it? Yeah. Did they have it right up? Did they have one of those helium canisters but filled with shite and just blew it up? You know, no, this thing this thing was like a lion bar. This was like perfect. Like, <laughs> this was perfect like, form. <laughs> this was like fucking solid in there with all the little nodules on it. That's why. It was pretty. It was actually pretty impressive. And then <laughs> we were staying in this little dorm with like. Uh, like it was like four lads to a thing, like young, like twelve or something, like very young. And one, we blocked the toilet and uh, in a bid to not be like fined or lose your deposit or something. One of the one of the dads who was like the coaches had to come around and we all just stood around as he like, <laughs> like just oh. unplugged it with his hand because there was no oh, plug. Did he put a glove on even? Or? No, he was so pissed off that he just went fucking out of my way and just. <laughs> bah. Oh my god! And the shit was all. Com- been so angry you didn't mind having a child shite under your fingernails. Yeah, just yeah. hands yeah. full of twelve year old oh, four, Yeah, four lads just dumping away. <laughs> And it, you know, it, it, we were so young; it wasn't even like a like a big old wank fest. Like, like no, you know what I mean. There was actually there was one pubeless boy going like, like he was almost confused. He was like, "Why are my balls and dick like tan more tan than my body?" Yeah, that is, uh, that's a scary time. Or would you really want to go on there? Well, yeah, when you start getting erections like before you had puberty, do you have that? Yeah. We were about eight. You get your first oh, yeah. on. I because I remember I asked my mom. I was like, "Why? Why does my willy I stand up in the morning?" Too. And she went. Uh, it's just for the pee, which is a good answer. That's a believable answer. And I assume that's what an erection was for several years. Yeah, that's good improv. Yeah. Thank fuck it's not, because I'd be hard all the time. You eat any bladder, do you? It's always full of piss. Yeah, me too. I, can't, I get pissed. But you, you will say, like, my dick's full of piss. Yeah. And I'm like, that's not anatomically correct. <laughs> no, I know, but, but, it's but I know what you mean. It's like that thing, you know, whenever you, you're like, <laughs> see, like, it happened last night to me, right? After the gig, driving home, needed to pee a little bit. Yeah. As soon as you see your door... Oh. You're about to piss yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and then coming you out of the loop. Like, and it goes away, but yeah. there's something about the back door. You're like, fuck I, I get it. The distance from the bathroom door to the bowl itself. Oh. That's whenever, like, it could go to any second. Like, yeah. If you've been hiding it Sometimes up. Sometimes you're like, thank God for foreskin. I've got yeah. something to grip on you know? <laughs> what about our time with foreskin today? <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking brilliant. So I was chatting to my friend Desiree, who is a black woman from DC, right? And she was like chatting. I didn't about think she was from Oma. Like, <laughs> she, was, she was chatting about her friend Remy, who got with us like Europe. Guy. She's like, he got with this like European guy. And then Desi was like, what was? Did he have a foreskin? And she was like, yeah, yeah. And Desiree goes, what was it like? And she goes, it was like wet. And then Desiree said that to me, and I was like, yeah, the foreskin's like a pussy. <laughs> Self moisturizing. <laughs> I can around police that let's just walk around with these wet foreskin. <laughs> but I, I'd say I was like, you know, was did they have a bit of prey going on there? Well, that's definitely, what I, it was definitely prey. It's like I, 
I, I don't know about it being wet, but I know that when you're hungover, it's like the Sahara Desert. It's deeply uncomfortable. Oh, you're like, yeah. You're like, I need water because my dick is dry. Yeah. What's going on here? It's like the end of a cigarette. You know <laughs> 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 <It's> like... <laughs> but it's so funny. Odd. It is mad that Americans are so freaked out about it. Like, oh, he's not circumcised. That's not the end of his cock chopped off. Yeah, exactly. What did you have done? Nice labored about it. And you, oh. I remember I had, apology, I had the public apology. Yeah, because you said I had no foreskin, which is definitely not true. Because um, I, I thought, yeah. I remember Mickey, which he's done frequently with many types of genitalia. He's been like, when I got there. And it's like some girl sent him a photo. But then he did it with your penis also when you had some injury. And he went, when I got there. I was like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, well. So it looked angry and painful. So basically, <laughs> I, it was an, an ex of mine years ago. It was her birthday. And we're in Dublin, in a hotel room. And I thought, you know, of course, going to rock our world like for her birthday. And as soon as I put my dick in, I ripped my banjo string. Oh. Right. Like like eighty percent of the way across, Jesus. right? Quite a lot of blood, I'll tell you that. Shocking amount. I suppose there was quite a lot of blood in it. But, yeah. uh, not a lot, you know. It's Kill Bill. Thing, but, uh, yeah, it was a bit like Kill Bill. Um, I also was wearing a yellow tracksuit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so then what happened was it sort of healed itself, but then when it healed, it got a wee bit of a scar, which then shortened it. So it was too tight. Man. Oh fuck. So I went in. I got done in Kingsbridge and Lisburn Road. I don't want pointing over there. Private. And pri- well, it wasn't private, but they just get the list down. You know, you went to a private hospital, so it was fucking nice. Sorry. Just in and out in the morning. But basically, like, the guy was about to put me under, and he went, oh, so I'm going to do a frenuloplasty where they, like, cut it off and then move it slightly down and reattach it. Uh-huh. And then it, you'll have full range of motion. What's this procedure <laughs> called? A frenuloplasty. Because okay. it's the same thing. Uh, Frenulum, remember? Mental no taken. <laughs> your tongue has a frenulum. You know, there's a bit under your tongue that holds it to the bottom of your mouth. That's uh-huh. a frenulum. So, oh, um... But just literally, like, second, it started to give me the anesthetic. He went, you sure you don't want a circumcision? I'm like, I'm not going to make this decision yeah. while I'm slightly high. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just, and then it co- what? <laughs> Hi. So he, he put it, and basically then it got infected. Well, the cheesy chip. Because <laughs> they said, well, I'll be honest, they said no wanger for two weeks. And I'm, I'm, I'm a, I was a young, virile man. And, you know, so it got infected. And then at the time. So you went for it with stitches in? Yeah. Happy time, you were done by At the time, Mickey was going with a mate of mine. <laughs> and she was like, "Send you step me safe," uh, and I was like, "Absolutely not." She went, "She sent it to Mickey," and of course, Mickey immediately showed it to Gareth. So oh, next time so I saw funny. you, you were like, oh, "Your fucking dick was a state, wasn't it?" <laughs> Wait, how long ago was this? Oh, this is like twenty thirteen. Like Good that. few what, years ago. Like, what was it like when it got infected? Green. <laughs> I ripped a stitch because uh, at the time I worked in Marxies and uh, <laughs> I turned and there's, there was a bit of the till that like sits out and you used to bang into it all the time but when you've got stitches in your dick yeah. I banged into it and just ripped one of the stitches wide open and blood and all You out. banged your infected dick at the till in Marxies? Yeah. And actually that was the thing that I was like ah it's probably just healing and then I went to the doctor and she's like no that's infected as fuck I was like I probably would have lost my dick you know I had dirty money and damn banging said, it off the till know. Nobody's, nobody's, you know, it'll be a long time until somebody gets the chance to get used to it again. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's what his dick looks like. It's like just a sick pep. So much foreskin. That <laughs> no, like, no, come on. Like, I mean, like, like an extra, wouldn't even be an extra fingernail. You know what I mean? But like, That's fine. Yeah. Well, that's well, fine. Don't you speak for women? That's fine. <laughs> yeah, imagine, extra, imagine you got used to being in a relationship and like, oh, she's used to it, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then you kind of forget. And then the first woman you hook up with, she's like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Why is there a Sharpay in the room? Like, what's, yeah, what's going on here? What is this, mole rat? What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, what about our boy Barry's dick on the thing there the other day? He, he posted it. Who's? Oh, Bar- Barry Kugan. Barry Kugan. He's packing heat. Do you but think I... Like- is that not... Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I mean, whenever, shit I, went, I, went see, I went to see Saltburn and I was like, like it's nothing wrong. Is it? I haven't seen it. But it, like, it just looked like an ordinary dick to me. I didn't. That's it. And there's a lot of girls online who are like, oh my God. He's... But I think it's because he is the heir of a man who doesn't have a, a dick. But he's a very small guy. He probably yeah. has normal normal dicks. Normal small body. body. Small body. I haven't yeah. seen it. What are we talking here? He's just got a cock and butt. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It, looks like every, it looks like fucking Billy Connolly running naked for children and knees. Yeah, you know he's what just I mean? got <laughs> it. Like, so he's just got a man's penis. Yeah. yeah. You know? But he looks like he'd have a boy's penis, so maybe that's what it oh, is, yeah. you know? Okay. But, but, he, but he's got a bit of a litter going on. But then, he, you know, you put on a pair of silky gal pants, yeah. everyone looks like they're packing. Oh, yeah. You, oh, know, yeah. you give yourself the, the front wedgie. White you know, gas shorts. Sausage roll, you know, just... Yeah. I used, to think, I used to think that about... Remember all the Beckham, like, uh, what do you call it? Like Calvin Klein ads? Oh, I. And he would just have a perfect mound. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And you're like, mine would mine be like a bag of mini eggs, or you know what I mean? Like just fucking. <laughs> how does he get? How does he get such a smooth fucking? Yeah, they've definitely got something going on there, like, like of, uh, yeah. Fuller, he's got the, like a sheet, a plastic bag. He puts everything into just form <laughs> a fucking black condom. He just puts dick and balls, yeah. the whole thing <laughs> in. Well, there is a, there is underwear now. Is it sheath or something that has like? Separates the dick and the balls. Oh, yeah. oh, that's such Both? a podcast sponsor. Sheath. Yeah, like a company that specializes in boxers where you can shove your dick in a compartment. Oh, wait, that's sorry, podcast. No, it's it takes the dick and balls. And puts All the right, dick. I was sorry, gonna ah. say for a, th- for a second, I thought it was separate. It was like three pouches or something. It's like a pair of those, you know, those ninja shoes. Were like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking That'd weird. Be, I fucking weird would it be the feel like material between your cock and your balls? Yeah. <laughs> I don't oh, no, like that's that awful. at all. Part of them sheets feel good though. I would like underwear, you know, that you pump up like the night like, air, you know, just like you hit a wee bump, yeah. <laughs> just from flate slightly. Because I, nah, I don't care about what it's like whenever they actually see it, but I want to look them, you know, I want the imagination to be impressive, and then they go, oh, yeah, yeah that's nah. what that is. Yeah, well, that, that's what that's what women do to us. If it's impressive, usually it's all balls, do you know what I'm saying? It's all the bulge? Balls. Yeah, the bulge. If it's yeah. a big well, ball, consider me impressive. If you've got a, if you've got a big dong, it probably just hangs it's straight, just straight, straight down the inside yeah. of your jeans. No yeah. one sees it. Yeah, the so. balls are doing all the work on a bulge. Yeah. I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome to small balls. We're getting into brass tacks. You get the t-shirt, mate. The bulges are balls. <laughs> You're all fucking bulge, no bollocks. What about your? What was it? That was. It Desiree? Desiree? Yeah, it was Desiree. Did she as also well. say about Drake's cock? Yeah, she was like that leaked video about Drake, and she was like, he was talking a lot of shit in his songs, and I mean, I wasn't that impressed, and I was like, Desiree, that's an actual pipe. Like, yeah, the guy's got a fucking I anaconda. I don't know, actually, because somebody on Reddit analyzed the video and identified exactly what size his dick was based on the phone that he has. Well, once you work it was like, like big enough, but not like six point eight. Inches, so not like giant. Nah, this was bigger than six point eight. So this was like, it's, like it, said, it was like he had six eight beneath his, <laughs> but uh, below his fist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Actually, just, and then he'd about three or four in the fist, <laughs> and then he'd about another four out the top. Sir, so that's like one of them things you put up outside car garages. Yeah, one of them like things <laughs> in his hand, like he couldn't control it in the bed. <laughs> yeah, Do you know what I mean? That's like, you know, <laughs> yeah, like he, was holding, he was holding a ferret. <laughs> Fucking regular all over the place. <laughs> but it's like I remember what you talking about every one time. It's like you know, some points like twelve inch dick, but like they said, it was never hard. It yeah, you can't get the blood down there. Like, and the guy with—I remember reading an article about the guy with the biggest dick in the world, right? What's and he. Jonah Falcon. <laughs> I looked it up. There I knew that too, which is weird. Yeah. But it, there was a Channel Four show about it. Yeah, I knew he, it was like, Jonah. He would pass out if he got an erection because so much blood would have to go to his dick. He was on like this morning or something, wasn't he? Yeah. And he was wearing like tin foil silver pants, and it, it just looked like he had a fucking double meat boojum <laughs> down his fucking. It was just like it was just such a big lump of cock. Like, double meat. You want some semblance of a you know like a pipe shaped cock? You yeah. want to yeah, be like that, that's a curse. Like I've got like elephantitis. It's just like a ham joint, and you're, <laughs> like, it's just a fat wad of cock. <laughs> Uh, your dick looks like Andrew the Giant's hand. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fucking, like, you don't know which bit's the end or the side or fucking whatever. It's I've just got the afro at the end as yeah. well. So it really looks like him. And the voice. <laughs> <laughs> You'd need the balls to go with it, though. You know. You would, I. You know. I never and at ch- that point, like, you're never going to find room for that. They'd have to be droopy. Like, I feel like, was it you that said one time, and I really remember this sticking out in my mind, is something that you said where I think we were talking at the back of the pub or something. You were like, huh? you can't warm to a fat of a big cock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ronan Linsky said that. I probably told you he said it. Yeah. He made a joke about having a big one. He goes, obviously, I don't. nobody can warm to a man with a big penis. And I think that's true. Like, if you know he's a big dick, you're like, ah, something off about that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I have some of my closest friends from school have gigantic dicks. And I've just, they, they I, don't I, like I don't so like that. You've like cut them. them off? They don't like it themselves. No, no. It. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, oh, I'm not sure. And then they, you catch a glimpse. And you're like, that's like three of mine. Like, <laughs> What's the biggest cock you've ever seen? <laughs> Probably three inches. In real life, I meant, sorry. In real life? Uh, one of my mates, yeah. Uh, yeah we're standing around right all together, and I actually turned my head away from him, and I could still like, see it. Uh, like still but I could still gone. see it. Like, I'm still <laughs> in my peripheral vision, you know? It was ridiculous. There's, there's guys to play rugby with, and he uh, had a had a big long cock, and he would, like, smack people with it. Oh, that's rugby for you guys. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. They'd be, you'd be like... He'd be slapping. Gay rugby change rooms is the gay. It's so gay, like, like, yeah, it's gay as fuck. What's the biggest cock you've seen in real life? Oh, I don't know. I didn't I? About like inches and shit. Okay. I'm sure. Probably there's some big ones going around the fucking gay community. Probably about an eight incher. 
it's been floating about there, like <laughs> one or two. It's been floating <laughs> about, cruising <laughs> about. Do you know what I mean? And you've seen it? Yeah, yeah. I've seen some big, di- big dongs. Like, I have a couple of mates that have got ridiculous ones. Like, yeah, is that yeah. what your mates with? Them? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How important is a big fat dong as a gamer? Not important. Yeah, because I, 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 dude, I, I actually think the guy's dick size really doesn't matter that much. Do you know what I mean? I think women are more invested in. Dick I, size I don't think guys. it matters that much to women either. Oh, really? Because yeah, they fucking really like thing. no one, no one ever was like. Jeez, I fucking love Tom Hardy, and then see his wee fucking child's penis yeah, yeah. in Bronson, bird, like. and then they went like, ah, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't bang him now. Yeah, he's they're still banging him, like, oh yeah, they're but still going. It's, it's the whole idea, like the boyfriend dick, isn't it? Yeah. You know, where it's yeah. like you want the one that's not too big, not too small. Yeah. but at the same time, you're like, one night stand, I want the big one. Average dick and his boyfriend dick. Yeah. Everyone, get, you know, yeah. everyone enjoys looking at the big dick. Yeah, I just enjoy looking at genitalia in general. Like, yeah, you know, from anything like, tra- like watching what's that show when uh, they do the naked attraction, naked attraction, like yeah. you just watch that just to see what everyone's working with. <laughs> and you know, it, you know, I, uh, I was watching I, that in Liverpool, you know, we're in Liverpool in the hotel room, just you know, we could have been out drinking or doing <laughs> you know anything, and we're sitting eating fucking like chicken or something, going like, oh, that's a weird family. <laughs> but I tell you bed, something, the same bed, just like, it oh. does go to show you like how much of a you know a pie chart of attractiveness. Yeah. comes into play yeah because you do sometimes you do go oh jesus christ and then you're like oh fuck you know one giant tit and then you see their face and you go oh she's very pretty yeah you know it changes the whole look yeah yeah, yeah it, it does it, 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 it looks and then do you know what fucks you over sometimes yeah. they you're standing there and you're like oh yeah fucking sh-, you know she have a nice wee landing strip there <laughs> yeah. perky tits and then they go put their clothes on and you're like eh, yeah it's <laughs> a steal this bitch <laughs> no drip no drip at all <laughs> get them clothes off not in the sexy way. That's never happened to you. You're down bad. You're like, fucking <laughs> yeah. I, anything, anything. I mean, you should go double dating. We should put make a joint I feel like you'll lose them with us pulling each other off in an <laughs> ibis. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't, you know, I'm not going back to that life, all right? <laughs> I can't afford an ibis now. They're yeah, fucking, fucking, fucking cost loving crisis. Are you mad? He's like, be gentle with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, Friend like, off. You know that hotel down the Dublin Road where it's like, you can get the the price of the rooms. Yeah. It's now got to see a I'm like, I don't want to fuck anybody that much. Yeah. Like, fucking 140 quid. Yeah. Ibis? No, well, that one, you the one the Dublin Road that like tells the price. E-tap? E-tap. E-tap. Yeah. E-tap. That's uh, gone to the dogs. Ridiculous. It's gone yeah, to the like dogs. Sir. That, that really used to be like, you know, kill a hooker price. Yeah. Quid. Yeah, like fucking that go was, in. You met somebody in Filthies and you went there. 100%. Yeah. And you'd stay for an hour. you just go home after. But yeah. the room was 30 quid, so. I was going back the other night. Like, I was, had, had to walk the whole way to fucking Orma from fucking like the Union Street and I was like I might just stop in here and just sleep for a few hours it was like 2 in the morning check the prices it was like 170 quid or something like that that's insane but like, I would have been there like 6 hours Do and it's know, like right? a black mirror fucking bed like you know it's <laughs> just a white bed shower that opens up the floors right there there's yeah. nowhere to step out on <laughs> yeah. that's right yeah the toilet just has a yeah, fucking like, just like a I don't know if you're having a full shit people can hear you like yeah, yeah. see you mate. yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's a glass door isn't it yeah yeah, yeah. Like a th- yeah, it's like a shower door into the shitter. But yeah. it doesn't even close snug. It just like no. closes over. Yeah. yeah. There's net, the gap the whole way around. Do you know what I do? Enjoy those bathrooms that it's like an open shower, toilet, and then it's a drain in the middle of the room. So you can just do soak the fucking place. Just shit right everywhere. Just shit. It's like a shower. Oh, I love that. The, the, the wet room. Yeah. Pissing on each other. Get all the toilets wet. Do you know what's the, the sleeper hotel now? Uh, the Clayton. Yeah. Is it? I think oh, people yeah. think it's probably going to be, oh, it's going to be £250 a night. And it's like 100 that's all right, eh? Yeah. For a way better place. Well, better than yeah, E-Top, like. I remember staying, I think I stayed in the I- or E-Top when there was a Tiesto. I Tiesto was on it. Oh, fucking, fuck. What do you call it? We call it shit up there. Balsonic? Balsonic, yeah. And it was just full of headers, like. Yeah. Did you fall asleep in the landing in there? No, I fell asleep in the landing off, uh, what do you call it, like bougie kind of rock hotel. What do you call it? Bullet? Said Victoria Square, Yeah. Yeah, I'm sleeping the landing in there. It's probably dear enough as well that like it's not worth it. Yeah, you know, like, you've wasted so much money now. Yeah, I did. I fell asleep outside the left. When you're when you're sleeping, <laughs> nothing is more comfortable than just a hard floor. Oh, sorry, you I sleep fall when you're falling. The floor all the fucking time. Yeah, yeah. That's I love it. Who the fuck is that? Or a picture of arms day. Yeah, just from twenty. Th- I must take it out. I'm sure yeah. how it's on. What angle right? did you take it at? Well, I actually I zoomed in quite a bit so you could only see the infected area. You couldn't okay. see the whole. You couldn't see the the head. Okay. You know? But I zoomed in. 
fucking legs spread all over the guy. Like, <laughs> if you didn't know anybody, you'd have went, that boy's got a hell of an ingrown toenail. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. you, you wouldn't have known. Yeah. What was this? The his photo dick? of my dick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry so to bring the... I only... It was very, like, you know, I didn't I didn't study it. Begley! Begley! Begley. We're doing it. Oh, just up the road. <laughs> uh, the, uh, I only took a quick glance at the photo, like I wasn't studying it. Tell the truth. But it looked it looked vaguely like if you just threw a tomato at the floor, and it, and it like and <laughs> a it, green tomato, and it like ripped open a bit. <laughs> I was just like ah, and it was was it like an old like flash photography thing? Yeah, because it's like you know it's like oh, it's the quality of an iPhone camera in like 2013. You yeah, know what I mean you're like. Like that sort of awful thing where they've like caught a politician killing a hooker or something yeah. like that flash photo they get yeah. and you're like, oh, did you put the flash on for the in fact the cock? You, well, yeah, because because no, uh, one day emphasized how green it was and I wasn't very good at photo editing. Yeah, I should have really amped it up. Yeah, I should have done a wee stretch too long. It's <laughs> been like Jesus Christ, not a bit of wonder. It's in fact that it's the size of the room. Grim, <laughs> so grim. It's a terrible time for you to walk in. That's. <laughs> Do you get that, like, uh, when you have to show a doctor your penis? Your penis just is like, well, see ya. Yeah. Well, of course. See you later. Well, she was, like, 22 and attractive. Oh, uh, damn. That's a that was typical. You're like, bossing them stitches. <laughs> <laughs> what, Imagine <laughs> after all that, you're lying there, like, half morphine out of it, and you're just like, oh, shit. Just, just, that, just that slow creep up. <laughs> <laughs> what a compliment for her, though. You know, yeah. guy got so hard, he bust his stitches. <laughs> no, and they're like, you know, you know, you know, like when you break your leg sometimes and they put pins in it and they make you walk on it straight away. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine you woke up from that and she's like, we just need, before you leave, we need to see you get an erection. You're just like, no sweat. <laughs> Blow open like an overfilled spring roll, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there bean sprouts in his car? What's going on? <laughs> Sweet chili sauce. Oh my God. Oh God. Do you remember Steve Nice? Uh, who does all the artwork for. Shout out Steve. Shout out Steve. In that Bullet Hotel? No, what did he do? And he fucking, we met him that night, and then he went, everyone's hammered like, and then he went to bed. And then the next day, he showed me this photo where he'd come in steaming, fell asleep on a broken pint glass on the bed, and just bled everywhere like a full murder picture. Fuck. And, he sh- and this is at breakfast next morning, he's like, look at that. And there was like fucking, there was a belt on the bed and broken glass and like blood everywhere. I was like, it honestly looks like there's been a murder up there. You'd, how, you'd have to go and get a fucking DNA, DNA test and be like, that's my blood, I promise. Yeah, that's... There's yeah. nobody in the bins. Yeah, taking it out in the suitcase with you, like, them serial yeah. killers fucking wheeling bodies out. It did look like a murder. That's yeah. heavily for you. Um, what time of day is it? 20 minutes. Uh, what about that fucking front row last night? The I told you the guy, I was like, what are you doing? I was like talking to one guy and then I was about to move on and the, the husband was like, she wanks off dogs. <laughs> we got some. We got our money's worth out of that though. All she night. Was, yeah, like everybody mentioned her. Yeah, it was she wanks off dogs, and then she was telling me, I was like, "Do you do the stimulation yourself?" And she goes, "Well, the G spots on the outside of the body," and I was like, "Is it?" <laughs> it was like, "Is that you know?" Every time I scratch a dog's leg, and it's like, "Oh, oh it's just, it's just uh, you know, busting the base of its tail there." Yeah. Like, Why is your wee lipstick coming out when I do this? Yeah. I don't like it. But that's what she said. She goes, <laughs> "What did she call the bulbous?" <laughs> yeah, that's the, bulbous, the yeah. bulbous, which is like b- between the cock and the balls. That's a wee trick, you know. If a dog's attacking you, grab the bulbous. Fuck, it off. Yeah, like in the middle of a fucking. That is the thing. You stick a finger up a dog's hole. Well, I get it stop biting you. I saw a video of that, and I don't think it works. And, <laughs> and the guy, the guy just fingered a pit bull for no reason. Oh, <laughs> you'd hate for that to be the, your last memory before he ripped your throat out, like just yeah. finger in his asshole. Oh, and then you go, this isn't working. The same way it's like, you know, if, if you know, there's a certain types of bears, if you shit yourself, they won't eat you. And then there's other ones that will eat you if you shit yourself. Like, oh. you'd hate your last thing to be unnecessarily shitting yourself. Yeah, like if you shit yourself and the bear's still a want for you. Yeah. That's like, oh, I'm, I'm dying with a full pair of boxers. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, this guy, this video was like a, a pit bull had grabbed like a smaller dog outside a cafe. And it was like, Rrr! and everyone's like, help, and screaming, and control your dog. And one guy just, you know, like... It comes out of the fucking blue, like, don't you worry. Jams it in there. Dog doesn't react at all. So he has to just, like, take a back step. Oh, sorry. And just this, oh, this fucking shit. So he gets murdered, and he's just like, well, I is tried. Hand, is there hand sanitizer? Yeah. <laughs> Smell it. I did try. The walk is I did try. With I tried. shitty fingers. <laughs> I tried my best. <laughs> shitty chihuahua on your fucking I mean, in the heat else. of the moment, it takes a decent bit of accuracy. Oh, why? Fight or flight or finger? <laughs> like fucking dogs. <laughs> 
<laughs> Fight fighter finger. <laughs> He's just <laughs> straight in there, two things. Sir, there's no way if like it like I used to be terrified of dogs, there's no way you would have the wear of fall if you've been attacked by a dog to just fucking launch your finger up its ass. Oh well, yeah. That, that's my default setting with any situation. <laughs> so <laughs> you've been mocked. Anyway. I should do it anyway. Up your own up your, your, mate, will you? up your own ass. <laughs> 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 it's like you're scared. I think that would work if, if someone was gonna mug you and you just immediately stuck your fingers up your ass. <laughs> and they'd be like, uh, uh, don't worry about it. It's like you know these stickers have been all over that wallet. <laughs> Back off. Uh, do you see they show you the video? Do we watch that together? What was it? Well the guy's being escorted out of like a shop and like a target or something in America. There's about six security guards and he's you can see this guy like rummaging and he just scoops a big lump of shit <laughs> out of his trousers and goes ah, all over his face and all six of them just immediately depart. <laughs> As you would, like, what a way to get out of a fight. That's brilliant. Just fucking scat in your own head. That video was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that just prepped to go, just a pocket full of shit, just, just in case. In the ch- in the chamber. Yeah, <laughs> ready to go. It was prior dogging, then he just <laughs> grabbed it on command. But right, it was, so it wasn't, I thought it was in his pocket. No, no. He turned his pocket. No, no, no. In, inside a black condom, just yeah. ready to go. <laughs> he like reached in and grabbed it out. And it was, you know, it was the perfect consistency. You know, yeah. it was like fucking a kilo of clay. He was just like... <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> then you just have to fucking scream. Fucking draw it on war paint like Rambo just with his shit. <laughs> like no, he just he just masked it. Just yeah. fucking one go. <laughs> and it'll crack. Yeah, yeah, you have my permission not to cut out me talking about finger and wheel now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it in. Yeah, if anything, I want more people to know. You know? <laughs> <laughs> get, I, I, think, I think I might get a billboard in Shaffy Square. <laughs> um, that would be absolutely hilarious if that's you one that. way to go viral literally just put up a billboard <laughs> I, like, I put fingers in my own asshole to ward off muggers and a QR code can you <laughs> <laughs> and like three like you know you get a big like paper finger sticking out of the billboard yeah. like, can you <laughs> what's your pl- everyone needs you. what's your plan now you're a single man are you just kind of coasting for a minute I mean, give yourself a bit of breathing space yeah, I mean, uh, uh, the idea, like, you know, I'm, I'm only recently single, so it's like, it's a bit soon, but also, like, the thought of, like, being arsed is just... I get it, Blair. You know, it's like, it's less, a lot of effort. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm neither sexy nor famous enough, you know, so it's like, like it's not, if I had his life, it'd be fine. No, it's... I don't know, it's a lot, lot of, a lot of guest room. <laughs> a lot of guest room action. A lot of guest room and bosses. A lot of bosses. <laughs> A lot of it sitting about. Like you have the you have it the handiest McCagney. I was about to say the streets need something like like the gay fucking sauna is just there, and everybody in it is just we're here. How often, there, how often do you frequent the gay sauna? I, I, I haven't. Lo- why, quite sorry. I'm oh, he's still in there. He's <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> um, not that not that often. Like, so Where I, is it? I went to the one in Amsterdam, and then I went. There's one in Belfast down Union Street. What's it called? It's called. I know Pipeworks was there. I think it's called Outside Sauna. It's all inside. I don't know why the fuck it's called that, but so it's just like you're going in. Everyone has the intention to hook up. Yeah. And I feel like that. Do you think that would work with straight? No, sir. I don't think I, that would work. It'd be a lot of straight men just yeah, wandering no. about alone. The, the sauna and the women are just there. Like, I, it takes it out of you just sitting there. So yeah, I can't yeah. imagine getting a hand shand in it as well. Like, <laughs> from park, the fucking, <laughs> from some old boy. Yeah. Fuck, you've been in here four times this week, young lad. Yeah, it'd be funny if you were just in there for the ride. And you're like, fuck it. <laughs> I'm just here to talk about football. <laughs> <laughs> could you do that? Oh, can you do that? Can you just they they go, the I'm just here to have a chat? Yeah, I'm sure, yeah, well, yeah, you could. They had the Queen's funeral on the TV in the hot tub with just like a bunch of naked dudes just watching the Queen's funeral. Damn, like sucking yeah. each other off? The ultimate yeah. queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <gasps> there she is. She's so real. Why did I shit myself? <laughs> You did? Yeah, that far. <laughs> <laughs> so this is in Amsterdam, they're watching the telly. Well, this is like in Belfast. In Belfast. Yeah. And you've been in there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's did, you get, did you get squirting in there? The Belfast one's a bit dodge. The Amsterdam one's cool. There's a full bar in there. So you, if you want to just go and get pissed, you can. And then <laughs> is that not dangerous? <laughs> well, they get pissed and go in a sauna? Well, yeah. Well, Dehydration? Like, so the sauna's only one aspect of it. There's a sauna... Like uh, a myriad of hallways. <laughs> yeah, it's not like the second hallway. you open the door, Stephen. Who wants to get rid in a hallway? <laughs> right, right. He thinks the whole complex <laughs> is full of steam. Everybody just dead. Like, can't just walk out of the like, what do you want? <laughs> Where are you? You only get half of it. Turbo Hados. It evaporates before it evaporates. And a pint of tenants. 
There you are. Yeah, he's trying 2010 to... mil left, sorry. He's drinking a white Russian on a sauna, getting sucked off. <laughs> and I'll cur- 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 curdled white Russian. Curdled in the sauna. You could have a cup of tea for like an hour and a half, though. <laughs> but, you, know, you, know, you would need a flask in there. <laughs> Do you know what? There's an idea. Go to the sauna, bring a thermos. <laughs> like just look, I, I bring just a thermos. I'm just here for a cup of tea. Just leave oh, it to it. Fuck. That's great. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't. I mean, I don't think it would work in a straight way because, I, you know, the dudes would be looking to bust as frequently, really quick, yeah. but the girls would be like, "Nah, I'm, I can bust on my own." Yeah, exactly. I don't have that constant urge the way you boys do. Yeah. But that's probably the great bit about being gay. Just walk in there and be like. We're on the same page here, boys. Yes, exactly. It's all everybody's. And is anyone sort of like you know, uh, t- you know, like offended if you were like, uh, not you, but no, that totally happens. Yeah, like people just come up to you and you're like, no, 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 and they just walk off and they just tap the next. Day. You just stand there squeezing your root at the base. Nah, not you, <laughs> not you. But I suppose that makes it's like because if you're just going to ask thirty people, then it's no big deal. Yes, you're yeah, like, gonna, yeah right it's a numbers game. game. It is a numbers game. Yeah. And is there is there boys? The, well, I'm sure there is. You know, knocking out more than one oh, punter yeah. a night. Yeah, some like I know people that go there and just like that's their night out. They'll go have a few drinks, just sit there till seven a.m. While cardio. Yeah, dude, it's fucking. Yeah, rough. if you had a good reload, you could just you know go for a it's, drink. It, yeah. Not if you do it for the length of time I do it. Then it's like it's like a thirty second workout. You know what I mean? That's, <laughs> that's, that's high intensity. Three, three, <laughs> three hours recovery. You know that's not head that's session. Not <laughs> The CrossFit, the fucking. Fucking Davina McCall, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah, can. It's a creepy environment. Like, see, if you're not at least two, three drinks in, it's very. I mean, I can't. Creepy, like. I mean, I can't imagine the smells in there. Yeah. You know, just yeah, fucking. Yeah, right enough. Just Piles like of dudes. Of ass, like, yeah. Just yeah. spaffing on into like hot air. Yeah, come yeah, evaporate. And then it's heated up by the sun. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's nice, warm. It's like a bomb marie of jizz. A bomb marie. <laughs> there is such a chance you just be walking around. You'd be like, oh, I don't even want to know. Like, what the fuck? Really? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The floor's way back. She's like, sometimes. Oh, Jesus. Like a son of a? Do you get a pair of slides on, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got them. Oh, yeah, yeah, you get athletes, fuck. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's funny. We've worked a shock on. <laughs> athletes spunk. Out of them shoes that they walk on the ice with, you know, the the, the giants. <laughs> 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 They're like, just, they just keep you about... I just have full rugby boots on. <laughs> You're just like an inch off the floor at all times. Can't take any risks, boys. Just go in a full kit, deck swinging, you know. Yeah. Just full rugby top. What, everything but the shorts? Like yeah. just, <laughs> the socks and all up to the knees? Hey, like. Did I tell you about the, you know, jiu-jitsu club I went to used to be a gay sauna? No. And I th- uh, they, they got the building and uh, they had to like renovate it. And one of the guys said he was pulling these panels off the wall and he said there was just decades of condoms behind it. Oh, fuck. Oh. Me. They, people have just been shoving them down for years. Damn. So it went from gay sauna to jiu-jitsu club. So another arguably, a, another type of gay yeah, sauna. Gay yeah. <laughs> dudes grinding on each other. <laughs> but then dudes, dudes grinding on each other in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any rules in the sauna? Like, boys, keep the fist into your own house. So that's what I'm <laughs> like it's Harry Potter. Potter. Yeah, it's like no diving, no no fisting. <laughs> yeah. No fisting. Sorry. No scat playing here. Thanks. Yeah, so there's the like that's that's what I'm saying. There's like a wee hallway with definitely rooms. If you want to hook up with people, you go to the rooms. Do you know what I mean? Some people just fall on buck right in front of everyone as well, mm. and like people just stand around and watch. It's that's cool. Cr- it is truly like that's courageous. Very, it's breathtaking. Yeah, it's quite it's cinema. Though. See, that's not, I don't. I don't even like the idea that the first time I'm having sex with has to see, see me yeah, having yeah. sex. You know, yeah. like, let's tr- can, can you just turn all the lights off, please? <laughs> Sauna can be quite dangerous in the dark. You'd imagine, you know. Oh yeah. You're like, where's the door? I'm slowly steaming to death. <laughs> glory hole. That's what you need. You don't want anyone to see you. Not glorious about it. That's a shame, <laughs> shame hole. Like a, <laughs> shame the hole. shame hole. Shame hole. Probably has a website. <laughs> Probably. I got it. Sh- Shamehole.com. Would your skin be nice when you come out of a sauna? Oh, yeah, you'd be quite <laughs> glistening. If you just get jizzed on <laughs> and, sta- yeah, yeah, yeah. and steamy, you'd be fucking Unbelievable skin gorgeous yeah. skin. There was guys setting up, right, during the pandemic, there was fellas setting up glory holes in their own house. So on Grinder, they would just write, like, their address, glory holes set up in the living room, and front doors open. And lads would just show up. Just like a curtain. They would go in with, like, a curtain with a wee hole in it and, like, a, a fucking donger sticking out. Lads would just show up and... <laughs> So I suck each other off. It's crazy. You'd have to make them tea or something. If they're yeah, like their mum coming in to <laughs> try a tea, you know. Did that count as your one form of exercise a day? If you're like, I'm only leaving for for a blowjob. That's that's allowed. 
Boris says so. Are you vaccinated? <laughs> Just out the wheel. <laughs> You put your show, dick in there. your mask. vaccine passport to get in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, People, it's just the other, the other neighbours being like, he's, he's getting some work done, that house. <laughs> they had a night all day, these boys. It's 14 tailors. <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool if you just put on like an Amazon uniform or something, you know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not going to a glory hill, are you joking me? Or just get a job with Amazon for like a week, just... Just to pull this Just, I'd be like, you them. order a package, <laughs> yeah. and then I have to go. That's a new conspiracy theory right there. That's there you go. I, yeah, Are they working for Amazon for the love of it, or because they're dirty dogs? Yeah. Looking Why to not both? Done. They might love delivering packages and love delivering packages. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Left them at your back door. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon delivery people are usually furious. Do they have like 700 deliveries in a day? And if you yeah. m- miss it at all, they're just like, fucking, what do you make me get out of the car for you? <laughs> Three quid an hour and you work for 14 days before you get a day off. Yeah. <laughs> fucking grim. China spec. So that is. That is China spec. Did you delivery for, deliver for Amazon? No. Warehouse. Oh. So like the delivery drivers. I think Amazon got in trouble for this as well. Their delivery drivers are on timers. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it. Big damn Damn it. Squeeze in there, Davey. Right, Dave, get in here. We'll, we'll talk. We'll talk for five more minutes. This is a gay sauna, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, there's a waft of sausage floating in the window here. Yeah. How's it going, David? How you feeling, Dave? I'm feeling very loose. You might have to share that. Would you say yeah, loose then? Loose. Yeah. Big yeah. 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 TV. This is like we're about to do some sort of cipher. Yeah, boys. Have you any uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. corrupt FM? Uh, we're talking about gay saunas there. Mm, oh yes, now listen. The man who knows. The man who knows. <laughs> yeah. Would he do well in the gay world? Yeah. Yeah. He's like big bearish lads would absolutely. Do. I was telling that. I was yeah. like every so often, lads, see if you just let a fucking slightly, kind of you just like pop the fucking show up a workout or pop the top off on a post, you would have all the gay bears just. Over that page. But do bears go for bears? Is it oh, bear yeah. on bear? Bear on bear action, man. Bear on bear there's crime. Bear, bear be bear. It's whatever you're into. There's bears on bears, bears on twinks, bears on otters. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Bears on toast. Dolphins. <laughs> bears on toast, dude. <laughs> bears on chips. <laughs> <laughs> I actually watched a thing with Adam there where it was two polar bears and they were like, these two lads are going to fucking wreck each other here. And they just hung out for the day. And then at the end of just hanging out eating fish, they just went their separate ways. They just hung out? Yeah, it was nice, yeah. I, I was asked one time by a mate, like, if I, ha- if I had to fuck <laughs> one of the comedians, you know, which one would it be? And I was like, I said, Dave, because I thought, more for the cuddling afterwards. Could yeah. you imagine how safe you'd feel oh, no. after he See, absolutely destroyed nah. you? Once I bust down, you're going home. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Lisbon. <laughs> 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 Fucking in and out in two minutes. That's I like to cave to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Take your salmon and fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen those videos just I don't know what the deal is with it but I love them I think they're on Instagram or TikTok and it's just like old sort of like Turkish dudes but it's like trance song playing on each beat it's just a different shot yeah. like, it's yeah. hilarious <laughs> <laughs> it's the best shot ever and they're all hairy big bastards I love it you're holding that like you're, you're like a Turkish guy about to sing yes <laughs> 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 Oh, so racial. <laughs> we'll wrap this up here so we can chill for half an hour for this gig. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Cheers for joining me today, guys. Very this fun. is nice. We should do this every fun, week. Yeah. This is very fun. Nice Maybe get more microphones. Uh, yeah, and we're do just going like to... passing it. Yeah. <laughs> I, actually, I, I held James for, for like an hour. Though. That's yeah. pretty sweet. And as soon as I come in, you ditch him and you're straight yeah, on. Yeah, fuck your off. Fuck off to your new mate. <laughs> I don't want to be near the guy who's going to chuck me out as soon as he fucks me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the real you having like a domestic place. already? <laughs> <laughs> this this is what, like I say, recently single. This is what I... <laughs> I don't wonder. <laughs> I'm, very hard, I'm very hard to put up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, we're having up. Cheers, boys. Uh, yeah. We're going to go do some comedy now. Oh, that was nice. It, it doesn't feel like a real podcast where it should be like, guys, go to callgets.com for two details and I'll sign up to the Patreon. Thank you. Can you fart? Did you fart in that position? Because I smelled something during it that I didn't like to say. You dirty fuck. Do you 
we were recording the other week and he goes he goes we talked too long and he was right wrap this up I can smell my own trousers <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Don't tip bastard uh, right right in here fuck's sake We're always recording. Uh, uh, that was great. Uh, that was fantastic. Feliz Navidad. Oh. Oh. So funny. I like it.